Hi, I'm Aaron from Knox and we've been here all day at the amazing Inch Perfect Trial Centre in Lancashire riding the EM E-Pure Race. Yeah, so I've had an absolutely fantastic day here at Inch Perfect Trials. Um, I've not actually ridden a trials bike ever before in my life, um, which is crazy because I grew up watching the likes of Ot P. Um, I was a massive Ot P fan, tried to replicate some of his stunts on my mountain bike, and I always wanted to go on one. I've ridden all sorts of motorbikes now, but I've never got around to actually riding uh, a trials bike yet. So when the guys from Inch Perfect Trials and uh, electric motion got in touch I absolutely jumped at the chance thought it was a really fantastic opportunity and it hasn't disappointed I've had such an incredible day here so yeah the inch perfect trial center absolutely top-notch I don't think I've been to another motorcycle off-road type venue that's been as world-class as this as a facility i mean look at the backdrop it's an absolute uh, dream in terms of riding these kind of bikes um, we've been up some streams we've been up some harder uh, trial sections it's just been a really fantastic time um, made a lot of progress as well and that's uh, kind of down to the expert tuition that we've had from nigel i'm going to bring him in in a second um, but uh, before that just a very quick commentary about the motorcycle I, I tell you what, I've been absolutely blown away. Talk about making the terrain easy. There's some of these sections you just sort of float up on these on, on this EM Pure race. Absolutely fantastic. For me, there's absolutely no downside to the fact that it's an electric bike uh, versus a, a petrol trials bike. In fact, there's more pluses. First thing is, there is no noise pollution. So there has been some other kids ragging around on uh, petrol uh, trials bikes. And you know, we're the four of us just knocking around in a certain area, absolutely whisper silent, not causing any harm or any annoying anybody or any of the locals who may be in the area. Um, and as soon as the petrol trials bikes turn up, oh, blooming bikers are here. In fact, there's one here just on queue. The fact that these electric motions are, in fact, electric is, is a massive benefit to this type of riding style and this type of riding because we're often wanting to go into rural settings where people are a bit more um, protective over their area so it really works for that and there's not really any downside in terms of the performance we've run it all day on one single charge well my battery's still saying 100 percent which is massively impressive it probably isn't a full 100 percent but we've ridden all day i'm absolutely knackered and we haven't gone through a charge so that's very impressive There's absolutely no issues with the power on this thing. You can, uh, you know, honk up a wheelie, absolutely no problems, and tackle pretty much anything that you point it at. Another massively innovative uh, feature that the uh, that the e Pure Race has is it's actually incorporated into uh, the bike a, a clutch. Now, in one of the power modes, it operates the clutch, and this just gives you a bit of a closer feeling to a petrol motorcycle and it just enables you to you know, get your head around riding it basically it's very innovative it really works and i've been massively impressed by it at this point i'm going to get nigel in for a chat so this is nigel he's been my sensei all day um, teaching us how to ride these bikes giving us a bit of instruction and keeping us rubber side down most of the time anyway haven't you Try, try my best. But no, you, you've obviously you've you've had a good day. Instruction-wise, you've not had an issue. I mean, you've you've progressed massively, in, in my opinion. And I'm not just saying that because you're here in front of me. We're not going to go off camera and say you were rubbish because you know you have. You've you've definitely impressed. Um, obviously, the deal with like I think you've said is with the electric trials bike. I think it just it gets you into trials a little bit easier and, and gives you the 
you know, the, just that ease to be able to do a little bit more than you possibly would maybe on a petrol bike. So it, it hooks people on the spot and that's what we need. We need people in the spot, people having fun on trails bikes. And, and you think the popularity of these uh, electric motion bikes or the EEM bikes is, 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 it, is increasing? Yeah, massively. I mean, obviously the thing is, uh, once upon a time it were always seen as a beginner's bike or something that only some did start on, but obviously, I mean, I'm no world champion anymore. I'm, going a bit grey but I still ride bikes you know and, and I compete at a decent level I mean Matthew um, who owns Inch Perfect up here and Gail Chatignon who was the e-trial world champion they both ride in the Scottish Six Day you know they're, they're there to prove that the yeah, bike's yeah. capable yeah. Um, you know doing it. Well so in terms of the progression I mean as I said on, on the camera before, I haven't ridden a trials bike before and as soon as we got onto the grass I was like, wait, how much grip have we got? And that is one of the amazing things about these bikes is how much grip you've got and um, just getting the basics of riding, the balance, the, you know, the throttle modulation, the clutch helps with that, uh, the brake modulation, all that kind of stuff. I mean. You know, obviously people are going to come to Inch Perfect Trials are going to buy one of these because they're into trials, but I think there's a massive recommendation just for normal motorbike riders yeah, to, I mean, to do this sort of stuff, right? We've had this discussion. I we mean, I, I, I've road raced, I've ridden motocross, I rode supermoto, and the thing that honestly, it's hand on heart, I'd say everybody should learn to ride trials. No matter whether you're riding S1000RR or, you know, your, your Panigale or your GS, I genuinely think it just hones your skills and it just, getting connection you know and that's the bit that I think people miss you ride a road bike you don't really necessarily realize think about things it just just allows you to think and, and get that throttle and control and that braking just understood a little bit it, it does in a, in a non-intimidating uh, bike non-intimidating setup it's very lightweight you know I've owned a, an enduro bike for a couple of years now um, and when I first came into Charles Pike I, I, I said I'd be really chuffed if by the end of the day I could get one of those steps. And, and actually, you know, with your instruction, I was able to do that. But not in a month of Sundays would I have been able to do that, just progressing on even my lightweight enduro bike. Because the thing's big, it's much heavier, you know, I've looped it a couple of times. You know, a little bit scared of it, to be fair. And, and you get on this and it, it just it picks you up as a rider push you forward I, I, I feel like I've yeah progressed quite a lot today and that's that's down to your instruction down to the area that we're at and, and obviously the bike as well yeah no it is it's, it, that's the thing you can take this now back feeling more confident with your enduro bike to think do you know what maybe you can have a go because I know I can do it on this now which admittedly it's lighter and it's a little bit easier to do but you now hopefully can go back because it's the same process just the bike's a little bit bigger a little bit heavier than the tires are on, but the process is the same for doing yeah. it you know, and like you said, it should improve your enduro riding skills, no end. Well, I've got a Multistrada in the car park, so maybe I'll uh, whiz that into here before I go. Eh? Right, well, if you let me on it, we've no problem, we can give it a run. <laughs> Fanny is a summit, yeah, that's not a problem, we can take it a few steps. That'll be handy, I'm sure the catty will love that. Yeah, awesome, <laughs> thanks very much, Nigel. Cheers, thank, thank you, you. Thank cheers. You. So as you can tell, I'm absolutely buzzing from the experience that I've had here. Um, I'm going to book in again with my boys, bring them along, get them into it. It's a really beautiful way to get your kids into riding motorbikes, riding these trials bikes, and definitely these uh, electric motion ones as well. 100% recommend it. Recommend these bikes as well. Actually, I really want one. Okay, look, really hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.